Yes! 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 Oh my god! This is dirty! What's up guys, my name is Cole and welcome back to possibly the best Town Hall 9 trophy slash war base that you have ever seen. So obviously I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few examples of this base. If you guys want me to do a speed build of this base, please leave a like on this video and really show the support that you are interested because I don't want to turn this channel into one of those stupid little speed building channels because you know those are kind of boring. But yeah, so let's go ahead and check out some of the defenses on this base because it has been doing absolutely amazing and war and I really know you guys are gonna enjoy it uh, so let's go ahead and actually scroll down and check out where our we are standing god I can't even talk right now so first off the war started pretty evenly and we had to defend so let's go ahead and check this out because he only got 30% on my base so basically how this base works out is almost like a trap uh, it looks really easy to get to the town hall but in reality it is actually really freaking hard uh, so he is going to be using dragons today and he's going to drop down one raid spell right there and another raid spell thinking he can easily get to the center. Uh, his dragons are obviously being distracted by other things but here comes the clan castle troops. Now these are going to play a major part in that. As you can also see I have a lot of seeking air mines. I actually placed four of them in these little pockets right here. The clan castle troops easily distracted those dragons long enough to get them away from the town hall. Another seeking air mine comes down and he is down to four dragons. Now look at that. Those extra two clan castle troops as well as the queen distracted the dragons away from the town hall. And now they are just in the middle getting shot to shit like completely. And there is pretty much nothing you can do. Nine seconds left in the raid and now he is just staring at his screen like holy crap what happened. The only thing he has coming away from this victory is a big brown spot in his pants. Because he obviously shit himself after realizing how good my base was. So let's actually go ahead and check out the second attack on this base. Okay, so the second attack we have here is actually, I believe, a Go Wipe Wee Wee. I think it's a combination of Go Wipe and Go Wee Wee, if I'm not mistaken. So he's going to go ahead and attack from the top. Now look at this double layer wall right here. It is actually going to play a major part in stopping this attack. Obviously, if he went from the bottom, he's just going to run into trouble because there are so many major defenses like cannons. But let's focus back onto the attack. So he drops down his wall breakers, making his way through. But look at that, there's another layer of walls, and they are going to be stopped short. So now there's one layer left, and here comes out the clan castle troops, making a huge hassle. He's going to drop a lightning spell and take out those archers, but little does he know, we still have some of our wizards in there, and they're going to hurt those golems quite a bit, as well as that P.E.K.K.A. So now they're moving in, giant bombs go off. Uh, he only has one P.E.K.K.A. left, two golems. The golem's about to split, and no more wizards, thanks to our wizard towers. Another giant bomb comes off and now he drops his heroes as well as some witches to back him up. Uh, as soon as he takes out the wizard tower these golems are history because we have cannons, archers, I mean teslas, everything. And there they go, no more of that. Uh, so it looks like it worked out perfectly. The heroes went to the outside and they are going to be distracted. Uh, he has some witches coming up and where our mortars are going to come into play. <clears throat> Look at right here, the mortar is going to take out those witches before they can spawn more skeletons. Another mortar shot and the wizard tower is going to help out with that. So as you see right here, we still have a, so many defenses up and running. Uh, the king is going around to the outside. Going to be greeted by my king, but I don't think he's going to make it in time. Nope. So there he goes. One star victory, but that is completely fine in clan wars. Uh, you want to keep it to a one star minimum. If two stars, that is considered an actual defeat. But one star, you're going to keep trying. So that is not the only attack. And keep in mind that look at the clock right here. We only have been in war for about three hours and I've already been attacked three times. Uh, being attacked three times by three really good strategies and defending against one star is crazy. So let's go ahead and check out the last attack here. Alright, um, so by the looks of it, he is actually going to be using, let's see, he dropped some wizards up at the top in the beginning. So those little wizards are going to do some major damage on those elixir collectors. My mortar is picking them off like flies. And I believe he's going to drop down some golems here in a sec. Any day now. Any day. Come on, Andrew. Speed it up, bitch. Are you going to do it or not? All right, there he goes. Drops one golem, two golems. Pretty stupid attack, actually. Dropped them both in the same place. Not really understanding. Now, this is hilarious. Look at how many wall breakers he drops down. Boom. Wall breaker's gone. All right, he's like, all right, time to get real. Puts down the raid spell. Puts down some wizards. And here come more wall breakers. Oh, wait, he lost the... Uh and here they go and they don't make it the queen shoots him down no wall breakers for him not even a single hit on my walls pretty freaking hilarious but he is not done here comes the wall breaker horde making his way towards the center 
and he finally has enough to break through that last compartment after using about I don't even know how many wall breakers but a little too late the clan castle troops are out and he comes the lightning spell gonna hit it on those clan castle troops but not do much damage we still have both of our expos completely annihilating these wizards and once they get close enough to our wizard towers it's gonna be pretty much death Drops down a Rage Spell thinking that's a good idea, but against two level 7 Wizard Towers, it's not going to be much. A big bomb does some work on those Skeletons, and they take out one Wizard Tower, but we still have one left. The attack is looking pretty fail so far. He has a minute left in the attack, so let's go ahead and see what he can do. Still got some Skeletons, one Golem up, uh, but obviously the Town Hall is perfect. We still have all of our Teslas up and running. Um, let's see what else he's got. His heroes went to the outside. The Queen is being a little bit weird and is like, you know what, I'm going to go towards the inner side. So she sees that gold storage and is probably trying to make her way towards the town hall. If you guys didn't already know, queens are pretty ridiculous. They always shoot the weirdest things like walls and shit. This stupid little witch is like, I'm going to get you wizard tower. Nope, uh, no wizard tower for you, bitch. So, I mean, the attack is pretty much over. My barbarian king's like, hey, bitch, time to get bitch slapped and bitch slaps him to death. And now all he's got left is, I believe, his queen because our mortar took out that witch. 60%. He's going for the two-star. What else does he have? Oh, he drops down his clan castle and the hog riders. Puts down a giant bomb. Actually, I have a giant bomb. He can't put down a giant bomb. The hog riders go in. The clan castle. Wait, there's no clan castle. Yeah, those are actually clan castle hogs. The queen is getting near the town hall, but little too late. The archer tower is going to do just enough damage as well as that Tesla to finish her off. 1% away from a perfect victory. If you didn't get my draft, I'm talking about 69%. Uh? But yeah, so it defended actually so well, and I'm really happy with this base. But I am not going to end this episode like this, you guys. You guys came for the live clan wars attack, and that's exactly what we are going to do. So let's check out our army camp right here. We have trained up some Go Wipe. If you guys haven't already checked out my Go Wipe tutorial, I highly recommend it. It is super awesome. So let's go ahead and go into the war log and check out the base that we can go ahead and attack. So I was actually eyeballing 32 earlier and it looked like a really great base to do a go wipe against. <clears throat> so looking at the base right before we attack, he's got all of these defensive structures on the side. And what we want to do is get that golem to lock onto all of those. So let's go ahead and hit this attack button. Now I'm pretty sure I can get a 2 star on this base unless he has a clan castle that is pretty good like a witch or something. So... We're going to have to do this really fast. I'm kind of nervous. Um, okay, hopefully this does not fail completely. So let's go ahead and uh, go. And then wizard, 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 wizard. Uh, drop a P.E.K.K.A. there. Wizard, 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 wizard. More wizards. Wizard to the center. Now we drop a rage spell right here. Let's get these wall breakers going in there. Hopefully breaking through these walls. Come on, you guys. Come on, wall breakers, do your job. All right, here we go. I don't really want to use this jump spell, but if we have to, we will. Come on. No! All right, I don't know what happened there, you guys. Uh, my recording stopped, but we're back on the attack. Jump spell, please. Oh my god, this attack is failing so hardcore. I'm really embarrassed. Go, 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 you guys. Please, please go towards the center. Go, king, rage you up. Get some more troops in there. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed right now. I thought I could actually do this. Uh, but we still have a jump spell left. I don't even know if we're going to have to use it, honestly. But if we do... Alright, we got 34%. We got to Town Hall, at least. Um, maybe we can use... I don't even know. I don't know if I want to use it. Both of his expos are shooting at my king right now. My wizards are doing work. Going in clutch. Come on, queen. Level 1 queen for the win. 39%. Uh, but, I mean, it actually is looking pretty good. We're getting a lot of these defensive structures out of the way. I wish we had another rage spell, but I wasn't not expecting not having to use my jump spell. I should have used it earlier, but oh well. 41% has been achieved. Come on, Queen. Please speed it up. Please go for the expo. Please do something smart. Please. I am begging you. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Turn around. Shoot the expo. Yes. 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 Oh my god. This is so clutch. Please. Fuck you. No. <laughs> the queen goes down. 45% victory. One star. Oh my god. That sucks. If we would have done that, we would have easily got the 100 I mean, not 100%. God, I would have been so happy if we got, got the 100%. But unfortunately, we came away with the one star on that one. New best record, though. Got some more loot. But I think that's going to wrap up this episode, you guys. If you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed my base, please leave a like on this video. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. But with that being said, you guys have a great day. And as always, people, keep on clashing.